that they lost to freshman class were very, very close, and the ones that they won, generally speaking, were pretty convincing wins. Yes. But for me, a win against freshman class in a tiebreaker is not enough to say, I'm guaranteeing Heist to place in the top two or the no, top three in no, this group. No. So they need a good performance today against Order to really convince me of that. Well, let's kick this one off. Heist up against Order. It's week two, Group B, our first matchup of the day. Order coming through probably as the group uh, favourites for now. Let's see where Heist fits into this whole little story. Yeah, well, they're both going to meet each other up on the bridge here. Dalsu being able to put out so much damage right now. Of course, Hunter and Merritt will be doing the exact same from the back of their lines. We can see the Zenyatas having a bit of a field day right now on both sides. Mm. Still no one going down just yet. Bus gets low, but instantly healed up by the armor pack of his Brigitte Dubois. Yeah, it's going to be order on the point first, and they now, unfortunately, are unsuccessful. For Heights, though, they're going to get three quarters of the way there. Before Order jumps back in, Merritt and Jordation both finding picks, and that'll be enough to start the snowball here and give the point over to them. Yeah, just a little bit better from Order there. The dive coming out perfectly timed from Quats. And once that first player does drop it, really, in that kind of a battle, that war of attrition absolutely opens the floodgates and you can yeah. see the rest of them fall. So Order just able to keep themselves healthy for slightly longer than Heist. And as a result, they're able to cap out first. They get a Look massive chunk of ult advantage as well. They're six in just a second. Yuki, the only one yet to get to 100%, and that will not take long with the Brigida. Jordation going to throw out a grab surge to kick this one off. And, well, that should, you'd think, give this fight back again over to Order. They're going to lose fast with the Winston down. There's not much here that Heist can do. And uh, the point's going to keep ticking in Order's favour for now. Yeah. Look at this. What, what did they use? You see three ulties. It was a nicely timed sound barrier from Jungle Jazz, but it was never going to be enough to hold up to what Order was throwing at those players. Like you said, it really only cost, uh, well, Jordation's ulti. Adam, I guess, must have thrown in there as well. Didn't really see much impact out of that one. But realistically speaking, Jordy has built up 71% of his ult in that last fight yeah. anyway. So it literally doesn't matter that he's throwing the grab. He's basically got another one straight away. And that's not a great result at all for Heist. They need to find something here. They need to be the one to start the fight on their own terms. That's what we always talk about when it comes to GOAT's composition. Well, it's going to be the Winston and Winston swapping across into the back lines of their opponents. Quat's going to pop the Primal Rage bus, holding on to his for now. Graviton Surge is going to come out from Heist, along with that self-destruct. Quat's going to go down, so that's a pretty big pick. Jordation throws out his, as you said, already managed to get that back. Dubois goes down here for Heist, but we'll see who this comes out in favour of. It looked maybe for a little bit like Heist was going to get something, but it was a very important pick that Order brought it back. Finally! Heist finding two more, and that'll be enough just to stem the tide here at about 90%. Yeah, quite a bit of armor across the board there for Heist as well, though that is starting to deplete as Quats jumps in and gets rid of Jungle Jazz's armor pack. But obviously the push on forward here from Heist gets some forward control. That's good to see. 87% achieved by order, but Heist have been able to flip it back over, so we're not going to see a 100 to 0 to start things off here. Nope. As expected, the match may be a little closer than it looks on paper. Merit up to 97% of the Transcendence, though. He does have an armor pack as well, so he's a very, very healthy Zenyatta. It's going to be tough to deal with for Heist. They'll push forward off the back of the sound barrier, but they don't really find much value out of that. No, they're not really getting much out at all. Still, Heist, if they can, I suppose, hold on to this for now, I'd hope that they may have found a pick or two with the, the benefit of that ultimate. This time, we're going to see the Graviton Surge come through from Heist and not find anything there either. We'll force out, however, the Trance from Merit. I'm lucky. Though, look, even though they're not getting picks, Jordan, they're still finding percent. Well, both teams are actually having pretty good success with these grabs. Good forward, aggressive Graviton surges, not really allowing their opposition to have any say in that fight at all. The fight is over as soon as that grab is thrown out. Ooh, even if changing. only one player drops, it is going to be the stagger that Heist wants, and so they'll start to push forward again, put more pressure on Order. Once again, Order has to back away, regroup, wait for those respawns, try and waste as little time as possible. Finally, Heist find themselves in a bit of an advantageous position. Well, you say that, Ben, but... For, for, the, for the very short amount of time yeah. that we are in right maybe, now. So maybe they for need the to next find 10 these seconds. Picks. Yeah, this is their time that they need to find something. The longer this goes, the worse it is for highs. And well, as you can see, Dubois going to be the first one down in that fight. Grab Surge coming out from order as well, along with the sound barrier. Bus going to use the Primal Rage, but on the back of Merritt's... Uh, oh, this could be big. Yeah, look... The trance doing what it can, but it's not enough, Jordan. Nice. Goes down just.
before the self-destruct comes through. And Gusto, with a crucial self-destruct, will actually keep this in Heist's hands and give them the first round. Yeah, no Reinhardt. Big problem for Order. Obviously, Quartz there, he did get the bubble down on top of the Graviton Surge, but when the Diva Bomb is inside the bubble, it makes no difference. And uh, nicely done from Gazto and from Locust as well with the Gram Surge. Heist last week were able to get the number one top play, Ben, for their Grav combo with the Self Destruct bus chiming in with the Reinhardt charge. Yeah, well, it's, we're seeing it's, that again today. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty useful, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty useful. And if you can get that aspect of the GOATS comp right, well, I guess of any team comp right, but you don't always see the two together outside of GOATS. If you can get it right, it's very, very useful. Mm -hmm. Definitely seems like the synergy is there for Heist at the moment. And for Order, just uh, letting that one fall by the wayside a little bit. They had a big advantage. They had multiple opportunities to retake that, but able to fall. A lot of it coming down to Locust with the grabs, I thought. Mm. Literally needed to win just one fight. Unfortunately, Order were unable to do that. This time, however, they're going to come out and win the first fight once again. When they're starting off nice and fresh, Jordan, when there's no ultimates to worry about, Order seems okay at getting that first pick. Jordation angry. He takes down his opponent, Locust, straight off the bat. Good focus fire from Order. Most likely off the back of a Discord Orb of Emeritus as well. And that's why you take the Zenyatta in this composition at the moment. You know, it used to be meta to be taking uh, Moira. But uh, nowadays, Zenyatta definitely seems to be the pick of the bunch. That extra 30% damage onto a mm. tank. So impactful. Yeah, yeah. Just let you work it down a little bit. You can see Dubois going to go down, but not before Merit's found by Dao. So Heist going to find the advantage here and jump it to the point. We'll see whether Order decides to fight this one out or not. Well, Quats actually does oh. get the Primal Rage just in time. There goes Zenyatta. Him off. <laughs> yeah, look, Zenyatta can't wall climb, unfortunately. He's not going to go be able to get back out of that one. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate for Heist as well because Dalsu had Transcendence available. Luckily, he hadn't used it before he was oh, booped yeah. off. That would have Whoop. been disastrous. Bus showing some nice parkour mechanics, but he's not going to survive too much longer. And 24% turns now into 25 as order recapture. And Heist haven't even managed to catch up just yet. Jordation's going to go for the jump boost. So you get a little bit of extra height. Get two right clicks in one. It's a great Primal Rage coming out from Quats. Single-handedly brought this one back for them in that. I really do like that in Overwatch when you fire something straight up, it comes straight back down. There's a lot of games where that doesn't happen, but it gives you a lot of options, not only if on Zarya, but... moves in the meantime? Oh, well. You know what I'm saying? The Earth is flat, Ben. It doesn't move. Right. Didn't you know? Let's try this again. Oh, Barret! Mate, this, this guy... That gets a pog from me. Honestly... Honestly, he is OP. Someone needs to uh, to nerf Merit on Zen. Yeah. Well, that is very problematic indeed for this Heist. Is, this is coming down to one last fight now, uh, which is, again, a little bit disappointing for Heist here. It feels like they haven't really been... They in. haven't really contested at all. No. It sort of feels as though it's a complete role reversal from the last uh, round on Ruins, where it was Order that didn't really have much of a chance. Come back exactly. on Ruins. Exactly. What I was going to say is that Heist have in the last round, managed to pull it away at the 11th hour, and they might well be able to do it again. Order do have a lot of ultimates available to work with here, but Heist have also got quite a nice rotation available to them, both of the support ultimates, so if Order really chuck everything into this one, it might just get shut down by that sticking power that Heist has available to them, and then they can rotate through their ultimates. Dalsu will be the dive target, but with the armor on Zenyatta, it's so difficult to chunk through. Yeah, the bus gonna go down, so that's a pretty big pick. Coming out from order there, Graviton Surge going to catch them right up against the wall. Locust throws out one of his own. Is this going to be enough to do some damage? They need to follow up with something. Unfortunately, they do not have the DPS, even with that Zarya at 100% energy. We're up to 80 to 99, and Order's now got shields across the board. Bust, look, that's a pretty big Primal Rage. Jordation going down. They're still holding the point. We'll see whether the trickle from Order will be enough, however, to bring this back. They're waiting probably for one last fight. The potential right now, Jordan, for Heist to beat 2-0 here on Ilios. Gusto gets d at a fairly inopportune time. The final fight is just about to start. He needs to get that mech back, and quickly. Does indeed. Adam is low, though. The self-destruct is used in the middle. Should be okay. Dalsu, Jungle Jazz, both five kills. It's going to come down to this Primal Rage, I think, from Bust. Going to be knocked them all off the point. 
And I think it's a little bit late here, maybe, for Order to make something of this, particularly now that Merit is out. Daosu uses the trance, and that'll be that, Jordan. Very surprisingly, a quick 2-0 here for Heist up against Order on Ilios. Wow, that's and, uh, very nice. In both situations, it, it felt like Heist was struggling whilst things were even. Mm. Heist was struggling, obviously, why they were at a disadvantage. But as soon as they found an advantage, they were actually quite good at managing their ultimates, managing that economy, and staying just enough ahead. Yeah, that's what we talk about when we say the macro game and the micro game. Uh, in this case, I would say Order, I think, definitely have the advantage when it comes to the micro game. When it comes to the individuals being able to step up, make plays, we saw, for example, Merit being able to find a pick there. That's the micro game that we're talking about. But when it comes to the macro game, the positioning, the ult rotations, the timing, I think all of that, at least here on Ilios so far, has actually favoured Heist. It certainly seems like they've been working hard as a roster. Uh, they're coordinated very much so, and when they do have that advantage, it's very hard to get it back off of them. And so for Order, when they themselves have those advantages, they need to make sure that they don't let them slip, as they have now done twice here on Ilios. Twice we've been able to see Heist come back from a massive disadvantage. Normally, you don't see a team come back from what is essentially a 99-0 to zero once even on a control yeah, map, but that was twice. twice in a row. Twice in a row, which is, to be fair, pretty impressive. So, well done to Heist. That's the start that they wanted for sure. Uh, Order, on the other hand, it's only one map. It's only one map. It but is only one map. It but was the same thing on two rounds of the same map, which is quite impressive. I think it was pretty convincing stuff out from mm. Heist as well. It never really felt like, okay, obviously they lost a lot of fights to begin with, but once they had control, like I said, it never felt like they were going to lose control of that map. There was never really a situation where I felt like, uh oh, Heist is really in trouble here. Every time they needed the ultimates, they had them available. Those support ultimates used to perfection out from Heist. There was no way that Order was going to be able to chunk through that composition that Heist was yeah, running. Yeah, exactly. So that sticking power for Heist definitely paying dividends. Obviously, Auto had the exact same thing, but when you're the one that's trying to push the issue, when you're the one that's trying to go into your opponent, it's a little bit more difficult to make things work. Yep, and it's definitely easy to say, hey, that's just a map, you know, don't go overboard. But we talked about, well, if Heist can find a map today, that's going to be great for them. They've already well, found one. So uh, from here on out, they're looking for at least one more. Heck, maybe they can win the day. That maybe. would be a big surprise, to be perfectly honest. This Auto lineup, very, very strong. They should be good enough to defeat these guys, but... Not on Ilios, uh, for whatever reason that may be. Definitely not. I mean, this order lineup we looked at as being the strongest team within Group B, the one that we thought would go through undefeated, and uh, still do, uh, but they need to do a little bit more work than what we've just seen there on Ilios. It was a fairly lackluster performance, actually, in the end from order. Things just not quite working out. I, I didn't see much out from really anyone individually speaking, uh, which is something that we're not really used to. When we look at the order roster, we're used to seeing big individual players from Jordanation, from Yuki, Adam last week was phenomenal on the Diva as well. Uh, and Merit, obviously, on Zenyatta. Maybe a little bit of a moment there for him, but nothing that we had been used to seeing predominantly throughout the entire round. You know, it was just one fleeting moment of hope there for Order. Hollywood is going to be the next map here for uh, these two teams. It is the choice, of course, of Order, so we get a bit of a, mm. an idea as to how they want to start to play out their matches, uh, what maps they like to play, what maps they want to be playing on. Hollywood is going to give you a little bit more options, I would say, I think, than uh, maybe uh, Li Zhang, uh, sorry, the Numbani would in this We've sense. We've seen a lot, I think, of Hollywood as well. Uh, over the last couple of weeks. A little bit of Numbani. Yeah, but what I want to say is like when you when you get onto Hollywood, you see a lot of variety when it comes to the team comms. And I guess actually m maybe a bit of a lie uh, in that Numbani comment because Numbani does also show quite a bit of variety. I think when we do get onto these hybrid maps, you, you're going to be seeing some Faros. You're going to be seeing uh, the dive composition a little bit more. Uh, it tends to lean a little bit more towards a, a variety than what we have been seeing out of other maps. Although, seems like that's all for Nord as we once again are going to be going back onto uh, more or less the GOATS composition. It's the Winston GOATS out for, for both sides, as has become fairly standard. Well, it's fortunate that uh, our, our viewers here in Twitch chat, um, look, I can't see what they're saying, Jordan, but I, I'm pretty sure they're excited about GOATS at the moment. They're probably just yelling about Maccas play of the games and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Seems to be the trend. It's a little bit early for Maccas play of the game. At least another three maps to go. But Hollywood is where we're at right now. Order onto attack. Oh, and Bus going to go down to Merit. Yep. Look at that, with the headshot as well. So that's a pretty big pick. Duboy brings it back at least. The daughter seems to be getting the better of the picks to start this one off. And that should be enough to get them a very early objective, a capture. 
Gonna jump on the payload on, head on out. It's so scary playing Winston when you're up against the Zenyatta, because you can just get chunked so oh. easily when you dive in. 93.7%, Jordan. 93.7%. Bust swapped across to the Wrecking Ball. Again, though, surely they get captured out in this cafe. In order, just going to be filling up that ultimate charge. Yeah, I think that's really nothing but a bit of a feed out from Heist. That hasn't bought them much time at all. Not even 30 seconds, actually, for Heist there. And you've fed pretty much all of that ultimate charge over to order. Everybody up above 80% now. And they're going to get that steamroll going. Jordation maybe looking to get the high ground there as the ramp does come up. So looking for a cheeky grab from a cheeky grab. above. But a cheeky grab. Just decide to fall back to the car. A lot of ulties to work with here. About to be 6-4 order. We talked about using your advantages, Jordan. This is the time for them to see what they can do. They don't want to throw out too much, but Daosu is going to have that trance. So it's pretty preemptive. Yeah. Yeah. Did that get eaten? It did. It did indeed. Graviton Surge going absolutely nowhere into the ether. Self-destruct. We'll find Jungle Jazz from Adam. You can see now the order have used four I of their tonight, six ultimates. That tonight is Sound Barrier. Oh! What tonight is Sound Barrier? The self-destruct. Because Jungle Jazz died, I think, mid-Sound Barrier cast, or it just obliterated everyone's shield. But regardless, Gusto, with a very nice self-destruct, does manage to turn the fight around for Heist. Somehow, they've actually managed to find a way to win that. Win that against a six ultimate order well, you got to give only have four I mean, you got to give gusto a lot of credit there he ate the grab for one and yes. he gets a two-man diva bomb with absolutely no assistance at all so that's huge from him down to another, another aggressive <laughs> transcendence gonna <laughs> start it off with transcendence straight away and look at this heist making the most of this for sure they're right into the back line gonna deep mech adam as well so this might slow it down a little bit. He's going to get back into that one and caught immediately by oh, Graviton Spurs. Self-destruct into the back as well. That's going to find Jordation a little bit less impactful than before. But hey, it'll do it's what it'll up. do, and it's going to slow them down. They're not going to be able to push through here. Yeah, just look at these alt rotations out from Heist. They're absolutely perfect. This is not how it's supposed to go, Jordan. Well, I mean, Heist is just playing this game as it's meant to be played. Individuals stepping up, and then... They're able to play the macro game perfectly. First, we see the Transcendence results in a team fight win for Heist. Then we see the Graviton Surge self-destruct combo results in a team fight win for Heist. Then the rally comes out from Jewboy. Another team fight win for Heist. And now Dalsu's Dalsu got another has Transcendence. Another trance. That is pretty impressive timing. Here we go again. Oh, Busto, it's the first one down. And that's a big pick coming out from order. That might be enough to finally win them a team fight here, heading towards Objective B. You're going to follow that up with uh, Jordation on Zarya. That time the Graviton Surge will not be either. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Heist just getting a little bit ahead of themselves there, a little bit over eager. They felt that they were winning that, they felt that they had so much momentum, but in reality they overextended. In this case it was Bust that gets caught off. Dalsu not able to save him with the Transcendence. Gotta say though, Dalsu, what a beast being able to build up that many Transcendences in such a short amount of time, putting out a huge amount of damage by the looks of things here for Heist. That said, you know, they haven't actually really done too poorly for themselves, but Order still have a lot of time here. There's they two do, minutes left yeah. on the clock. Heist definitely dropped the ball on Objective A, which has really cost them here. Even though they've been playing very well, it hasn't been going their way. Dubai will find Yuki, but Bust goes down again. Merritt's going to be the one with the trance this time. It looks like this might be enough to get Order progressing along with the payload once again. It's going to take a little while. Oh, here we go, Heist. It's not a bit late now, isn't it? You can see. Oh my goodness. Quat's going to get pushed out there. Grab Surge going to come out from order. Nothing, however, to follow it up with. And this might actually cost them now. They can try. There they will. The DMAC on to Adam. It's going to slow this right down. Look at this Heist pushing all the way forward. Bust yeah, look at ready how to far. go with the Primal Rage again. You don't always see teams chasing this far in, but Heist definitely looking to push their advantages again. This macro gameplay that I'm talking about. It's looking really good out from high, so I'm not sure what they've done in the last week, uh, but they're definitely looking a lot better than last week. Really putting order under the pump right now, backing away now up to the cart where they can have a bit more of an advantageous fight, try and buy some more time. Need to be aware of Jordation's grab surge here, but so too does order need to be aware of Locus's grab. This could potentially be the last proper fight that order gets oh if they lose. Oh my goodness, Quats goes down with, with the primal. Primal Rage must have just been popped. No, I mean, he didn't no, get it didn't off. Even use the it. shield didn't bash denied it. Didn't even use it. Well, 
it's so hard because when you wow. get shield bashed, you can get bursted down in that time and you don't even have the opportunity to pop off that Primal Rage. So luckily, at least for Quats, he's still got it available in this fight. But going down like that with Primal in a key fight, obviously not a great sign. Doesn't cost too much for Heist no. to get that fight win either. Just a shield bash on a Primal Rage out from Bus. Okay, so Locust is hiding inside the store, waiting maybe to pull out this, uh, this grab just to just slow them down, catch them out perhaps. We'll see whether it pays off or not. You can see that Order does have almost all of their ultimates to work with here. Lurky. There we go, right from behind. That's not going to get eaten at all. Oh, big, big, big work. Self-destruct, won't find any kills. Order follows up with one of their own. Maybe this one's going to be more successful. No, not finding the picks that they want. Heights still with everyone alive. Order still down to Brigida. Bus has a Primal Rage as well. This might be it here for Order. They're not going to so. get to point B. Yeah, Bus has got Primal Rage here, so he can go super aggressive right now. Actually, just get absolutely, well, almost dumpstered there by the Order players, but he does get out alive. Very, very low. In the end, though, he survives, and that is what matters for Heist right now. They have the numbers advantage. Yuki has a Discord Orb on him and won't be lasting too much longer. Transcendence actually will save him, and this might keep Order in the fight. Heist needs to slow down, reset a little bit, and that's yep. exactly what they've done. They back away from the cut. Now they'll re-engage when there's no what? Transcendence. See you later. Dowsu finds that pick. Jordation only now going to be able to get into the fight as I say that. Well, Hunter's out as well. So, this again, this payload's not going anywhere. They can try and trickle as long as they like. But Heist have full control here. And well, considering how good order were on Objective A, how quickly they captured that control point, Heist absolutely decimated them on the second phase. Yeah, not often that you're going to see a hold in that position as well no. on the second phase of the map. Uh, that's huge from Heist, and their macro gameplay is looking so, so good right now. I, I Just the way that they position themselves in fights and the way that they back away and play to their own win conditions is absolutely incredible here from Heist. The only one small minor issue factor that I'm starting to see a little bit of a recurring trend from Heist is mm. I think Bust may be overextending a little bit on that Winston. He has been picked off early in a couple of fights without his leap available to get out and to get to safety but by and large it, it I mean it, like I said it's been a minor problem for Heist but generally speaking it, it has gone perfectly for Heist you yes. can't really complain about how that's worked out and now they have to prove that they can do something similarly as incredible on the attacking side now it's no good having a good defense if you can't get through that first point order if they don't hold first though it's probably the map done and dusted yeah yeah this is actually exceptionally surprising to be perfectly honest. We thought Heist was going to have a reasonable season, but to be holding order where they are right now, to see how aggressive they're playing. They're not treating order like the top team in their group. They're treating them like any other team, and yep. they're playing how they want to play. Well, I think you've got to give a shout out to Heist supports as well. So far from Dalsu and Jungle Jazz, I haven't seen either of them really put a foot wrong. I don't think either of them have missed an ultimate, with the exception being maybe Jungle Jazz getting beaten by that self-destruct earlier on here on Hollywood. I'd have to go back again and have a look at the replay. Not sure if he got it off and it was uh, in a poor position or if he did actually get taken down by the self-destruct before the sound barrier went off. Regardless of the situation though, Heist have, generally speaking, been very, very solid with their ultimates and yeah. they've been finding a lot of reward as a result. We've seen them struggle when, it's, uh, when they don't have that those ultimates to rely on and that's obviously going to be the initial fight on any map. So this time they're all still alive and they've managed to find themselves the high ground. They're going to have to jump out and try and make something of this in just a second. Here we go. On to the point. Heist will trickle down right now. Looking for that first pick. Again, still six plays aside. Uh, alive on either side. Quats was low, oh, but it's me. actually Locust who goes down first to Jordation. And now that Heist are down one, they will, by the looks of things, still try and find that one extra pick to bring it back. Jungle Jazz, are you going to hold on to that one? No, nope. decides to use the sound barrier just as Bus goes down. Well, we'll see how this one works out. Maybe a little bit late there from Jungle Jazz. Looks like the fight is actually going to fall by the wayside. So uh, I guess a minor error mm. in that sense for Jungle Jazz, where he is going to waste the sound barrier for really no gain. What I do want to talk about, though, again, for Order, we're, we're talking about the, the Zaya personal bubble here for Heist. Such a big, impactful ability. It doesn't seem like it is, but as soon as that Zaya personal bubble is gone, you get the Discord on the Zaya absolutely 
delete her out of existence, and that's exactly what Order did there. Yep. Such a small nuance here when it comes to the GOAT's composition, but it can be such a big, impactful play. Self-destruct available here for Adam as well. Going to throw that out immediately. Going to try and combine. Oh, goodbye. You saw it coming. That was definitely a hole-in-one. That was actually a slam dunk from Adam because it's gone straight up in the air yeah. and landed right in the net. Nice little swoosh there. And uh, we'll, we'll stop with the sports jokes. But very impressive out from Order. And now Heist is in a less than ideal position. Obviously, as a result of losing the first fight, the second fight gave Order the advantage. But because all they had to use was the grab and the self-destruct out of Adam, they still have four ultimates to work with. Yeah, but there's a grab and a self-destruct now for Heist, so let's see if they can pull it off. They still have time for a couple more fights after this one, but this is where you'd want to get it through, just to make sure things are not under too much pressure. Grab got oh, eaten by Adam! does get eaten. The self-destruct comes out immediately. Unfortunately, it's not going to do anything other than feed Jordation's power levels. Yuki going to find Dubai as well. Order still sitting on three ultimates. They have not used anything other than... Um, than Yuki's uh, rally in this fight, Jordan. So even though in the past we've seen Heist come through and just slowly get their ultimates back and, and use that to find the advantage in this particular scenario, they are really struggling here on attack. Yeah, absolutely. Starting to see a little bit more of uh, what we expected out from Order. Returning Adam with some massive plays. Two big fights out from him. The self-destruct combo, obviously the first, and then eating that grab being the second. Nicely done from Jordation as well to keep Quats alive against the self-destruct. We're going to see Bust going to change this off. Jordan onto a Reinhardt. I think needed to change as well here for Heist because what they were doing was not working. They're pretty dire straights now as they face another grab combo. Yeah, it's going to be tough to deal with this for sure. Jordation at 100% energy. Grab Surge comes out and so much damage coming onto this team. Adam had the self-destruct available as well. And legitimately, again, Jordan, they only use Yuki, Jordasian, Adam. They keep the other three in reserve. Ooh. And with 20 seconds on the clock, looks to me like Heist are going to have to, uh, unfortunately, deal with a loss in this scenario here in Hollywood. Uh, we'll see what they can do, Ben. It's not over just yet. We've seen it's Caps over it's in overtime. Over. Bust is on the wrecking ball. I have faith. There's always a chance for Heist. Never say never. It's going to come in with the Marley Cyrus and push this through, but Bust very quickly going to take a lot of damage. Quatch does have that Primal Rage as well. They can throw everything into this fight, one would think, being order. They have Lucas the advantage. Has grab. Gusto has self-destruct. It's doable. Oh, bust onto Yuki. Sound barrier going to come out for order. They've got nothing. Boom! Goodbye. Elfish guy right, Sandman wrong. Heist will be able to find themselves victory here on Objective A. That means they've got the payload, means they've got some more time. Bust went ham in that fight as well, by the way. Charging up an ultimate in only one fight on Wrecking Ball. Not an easy feat. Two pile driver kills, another one just a standard kill for Bust. Great stuff. I love the Wrecking Ball. How is this even possible? Look at this. Just going to take the elevator to the top. Just cue the the elevator music in your mind. And the mines are Here we available. go. Throws him out, comes back down with the pole driver. Actually half decent, to be perfectly honest. It's huge. Hunter down, Merritt's about to go as well. Quartz uses the primal rage, but he's about to die. Bus is an animal, and not just a hamster. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a hamster, mate. Please don't discriminate. For this, they're going to chase them down. He's trying to make something of this as well. And the payload does not need to get very far at all. Look at this. Ever close to 30 meters short now, and they have one and a half minutes to work with. Well, it's definitely very doable once more. Swings back in the favor of Heist now. Some great dive play out from them. This is looking phenomenal. Bus just missing the pile driver yeah, a little bit the there. Roof, mate. Yeah, you got to be careful with that one. Trance, see whether that's effective, but it's Quats who goes down again. Trance will come out here from Anta. A little bit uh, too little too late here, some might suggest, Jordan. Bus is doing so much work with these pile drivers, up to 87% again. This looks like oh. it's going to be done. Double kill for Gusto That's with the self-destruct. That's enough for sure. One minute ten on the clock. They should be able to get the payload moving once again. Order going to be forced to trickle on. You can see Quats getting back into it. But hey, he died the first time. He's going to die this time as well. And Bus trying to chase poor Merritt down. That's it, Ben. That's yeah. it. It's going to be a 2-0 right now for Heist. <laughs> the mines come across as well, but they're not even needed. And Heist is going to win another map here over Order. 
What a swap out from Bust. He's absolutely busted on the wrecking ball. That is phenomenal stuff out from him. And of course, from the rest of Heist, their defense looks super solid. Attack, a little bit shaky. But it's, it's, it's again, yeah, it's getting past when they don't have the advantage. They really do seem to struggle in order, yeah. seem to know what they were doing. You could see time and time again, keeping three oldies in reserve, using the three that they needed to use. But in the end, it was the Wrecking Ball that was their, their downfall. Yeah, maybe just not expecting the, the Wrecking Ball swap. Obviously, I guess lucky or maybe smart timing out from Heist in that Locust and Guns 2 do get the combo up at the... Well, I guess, again, at the 11th hour here for Heist, it really seems like they want to leave it to the last moment before they do pull off a victory on any given map. Uh, but they've done it again. And phenomenal stuff out from Heist on their defense. Shaky offense, to be fair. But they got it done in the end, so that's really what matters. I thought Adam looks pretty good. Sublime even on the defense here yeah, for uh, yeah. Order, but just wasn't quite enough. It wasn't. It was very surprising. And uh, to be fair, it's one thing, I think, for Order to go, wow, look, we didn't get very far on attack. That's pretty disappointing, but we're about to full hold on A. Mm. And then to almost full hold A and then fail again in overtime and then see them just push through the second objective and do so with utter ease. Yeah, big uh, question mark now yeah. over order. Like that's 2-0 now down against Heist. Are they going to be able to bring back this series? It really, at this point, doesn't seem like it. They mm. pretty much threw everything at that Hollywood defense and it still doesn't stick. At the very end, at the 11th hour, we see Heist able to sneak away a win in circumstances where they probably shouldn't have been able to. So for me, I don't know what's happening for order, but it seems like they're in shambles. Well, Jordan, we're halfway through our first matchup of the day. It's Heist up against Order. Heist 2 and 0 up. A very surprising result so far. We're going to take a very quick break and we'll come back. More Overwatch Contenders Australia.